What is the world's most remarkable predator? Is it a great white shark, a polar bear, or even a saltwater crocodile? Tell me yours in the comments below. I'm Dr. Chris Errol, and this is Mobile. The geography cone is a sea snail. Now, bear with me, this will be worth it, I promise. This is an incredible example of a predator, and the story gets wild right till the very end. The snail hunts small fish, and it does so by releasing venom into the water surrounding the prey. And the venom contains a mixture of hundreds of different toxins. And I'm going to talk about a remarkable example today. Some background first. Fish, just like us, use insulin to regulate glucose levels in the blood. So after you eat, glucose levels will increase in the blood and insulin is released and that brings the glucose levels back down to a safe level. The cone snail venom contains a toxin which looks a lot like insulin. But what that does is when it, the fish is exposed to that, it drastically reduces the glucose levels in the blood, impairing the capacity of the fish to escape from the predator. This is a cool example of molecular weaponry. But the next part is unbelievable. Again, fish like us have another hormone called glucagon. And glucagon is like the opposite of insulin. It counteracts its effect and restores blood glucose levels when they get too low. So in the fish, the glucagon is going to rescue this response from this first toxin, which is lowered blood glucose levels. However, in the venom is another toxin called consomatin. And what this does is it blocks the production of glucagon to exacerbate the effects of that first toxin. So Scientists have thought of these two toxins as a cabal, as something that enhances the effect to impair the fish's ability to escape and allow the snail to have its meal. Scientists call these toxins doppelganger peptides, and that's because they mimic the appearance of these hormones. And if we look at the evolutionary history of these, they have evolved from the naturally occurring hormones in the snail but somehow they've ended up being made and produced and modified in the venom glands. The geography cone resides in tropical waters. So if you are a fish living in cold water, you don't have anything to worry about with this specific predator. But the snail punches well above its weight. It's estimated that in the last 300 years, as many as 36 humans have succumbed to the effects of the cone snail venom. Thank you for listening and please let me know in the comments below your most remarkable predator and I will make a video for the best example.